y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brands Vera Bradley and Lug. I also occasionally do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. So today's video is a haul. It's just a massive haul. Um, all the videos that I have actually put up on my YouTube channel recently were recorded like over a month ago and I haven't recorded a video in about a month because I don't know what is going on with this year but I swear to God I think I'm cursed in the last three weeks alone my daughter and I both have had flu A and flu B and it's been miserable we just keep getting sick over and over and over and my husband's caught a few of them with us my son's caught a few of them with us and it's just it's not been a good year as far as illnesses and things like that go for us. So, yeah, I haven't actually recorded anything in about a month. So, I have a bunch of stuff piled up here. I have a giant box beside me off to the sides that's just overflowing with stuff. So, I'm going to try to go through these kind of quickly, but y'all know I tend to ramble. So, we'll see how it actually goes. I have, um, I have a few different brands to show you like a couple of um, bags from different brands to show you. I have a couple of lug pieces and then the rest of it is all Vera Bradley. Um, some of it came from the paper store, some of it's the online outlet sales, some of it was the recent retail sales, all of the Black Friday sales and all of the big sales leading up to that and things like that, they're all in here. So I'll kind of try to tell you where things have come from as I go. But I'm going to start with those other branded items first. Then we'll do the, the couple of lug pieces I have and then all of the Vera Bradley. So let's get started. Okay, the first item I picked up is actually this Kate Spade bag. I think it was called the Software Quilted Mini Tote or something to that degree. But I saw it during their sale, the Black Friday sale that they had. I thought it looked adorable. And I picked it up. I just really liked it. And y'all, I wish there was like a way you could reach through the camera and feel this leather. Because this is the softest leather that I have ever felt on a bag. It is literally like butter. It is so soft and just, it's amazing. But for my lug friends, this bag is set up like the mini dory or the jitterbug so essentially I didn't like the strap that came with it because the strap that came with it was really wide and it was one of those woven textured straps and I just didn't care for it so I took it off and this is just a different strap but it's got the quilting on it with the little um, insignia down here and you have your two grab handles up here and honestly it is kind of like a mini dory but just a little larger. So if you like the mini dory, I think this came in four colors. There was a red, a cream color, a black, and like a really soft, um, kind of like a uh, mint green kind of color. And I almost went for that one because that's right up my alley. I love those shades, but I went for classic black. Um, but yeah, so this has those two side pockets in there on each side of the main compartment on one side you have a zip pocket in this um little outside slip and on the other side you have a slip pocket and they're both magnetic if you can see the little magnet right there but it's got a really good capacity to it it feels really really nice i've got all my regular junk down in there because that is the bag that i'm in currently but yeah, it's just a great bag, super comfortable. These straps are long enough to do the, um, you know, crook of the elbow thing, but you're definitely not getting this on the shoulder, but they're super comfortable and squishy and pliable. No outside pockets. You have those um, kind of hidden pockets on each side of the zipper there. So that was the first bag that I picked up. Next, um, I picked up a bag from Amazon. And this was a bag that I had looked at over and over and over because it reminded me of a bag that I used to have. 
um, if any of y'all are familiar with like designer luxury brands, there's a brand called YSL, which is Yves Saint Laurent, and they made a bag called the Nikki bag. And if you're familiar with that, tell me this does not remind you of that bag. So I looked at this on Amazon a hundred times. I I love the Nikki bag. I bought one pre-loved a while ago, but I never carried it because it was so expensive that I didn't feel comfortable carrying it, especially where I live. So I sold it on to someone else. But this I'm extremely comfortable carrying. It's supposed to be real leather. It's by a brand called Bostanton. I'm not familiar with them. I can't tell you if it's real leather or not, but I can tell you I've already used it and it's very comfortable. So when you open it up, you have this nice big um, slip pocket right under the closure. And then inside here, you get a zip pocket along the back. And then on the front, <laughs> sorry, there's a big slip pocket. It does have a decent amount of space done in there. It's not enormous, but it is a good amount of space. And then on the back of this bag, there is a magnetic snap pocket there, big slip pocket. And one thing that I tend to find with bags that have a chain strap like this is that oftentimes they are not long enough to go crossbody on me if I um, just let one chain, one side of the chain fall and try to use it as a crossbody. This one is not like that. So as a shoulder bag, it hits me right around there. But this chain is the perfect length for me. You can let it fall down and it sits perfectly right at my hip for a crossbody length. So I was extremely pleased with this one. And I think I got this for all of like $30 during the Black Friday sale on Amazon. Like I said, it's supposed to be real leather but I can't guarantee that. I don't know for sure. I just like the design and I like the bag. So that was the second one. And then the third bag I picked up that was a different brand is another Amy Kestenberg bag. I did not realize that all three of these I had to show y'all were black, <laughs> but you can tell I'm a fan of a classic black bag. I have not used this one yet clearly because the straps are still wrapped up, but this does come with two separate straps. So you have a shorter shoulder strap right here that is a little bit wider. And then you have a removable crossbody strap that's a little bit thinner. And I do really like Amy Kestenberg's bags, but this one feels a little bit dry for some reason. I, the leather feels a little bit dry on it in some spots. So I'm gonna have to use some conditioner on it. But if you're familiar with her bags and her Bally line, this is kind of similar to that, but it's a little bit larger and it has two straps. So the back has a zip pocket. It's not enormous, it's just a regular little zip pocket. And then on the front, you have kind of a signature of hers where she does these double zip pockets on each side. And they are two separate pockets, so there's zip pockets. But I like these for concealed carry because I can put my handgun in there and it fits perfectly. It's completely separate from anything else, so it's protected. It's in its own compartment and it works really well for that. And then you have a magnetic closure right here, which I really like. I find it really handy. And that's another signature of hers is this little, like, um pocket that's in the flap of the bag so I don't know if I'll be able to show you really but that goes all the way down the back side of the bag so you can see my hand moving around there but it's just a big slip pocket in the flap and then on the inside it's just a standard two slip pockets on the front one zip pocket on the back but it's a really nice large size so the shoulder strap lets it fall, you know, right under your arm. But the crossbody strap is long enough to go crossbody. So that's the third one. Okay, let's go for the lug now. So 
these came from QVC because I'm a little irritated with Lug Live and all that, but regardless. So I picked up my first coops. They did their little um, sale price on the set of two coops. I don't have a coop, a regular sized coop. I have an extra large coop in the vegan leather, but I don't have any of the regular ones. So I picked up the rose gold and the silver. I saw the silver and for whatever reason, I became obsessed with this silver. I was, it was like jewels to me when I saw it. The rose gold I thought would be a little bit more pink, but it's really not. It's more of a champagne-y type color with a very, very light pink undertone. I like it. It's just not what I anticipated. And then the silver I absolutely love. So y'all are familiar with the coops. I'm not going to go crazy on that. The back side, you have a um, ID slip pocket and a zip pocket in the back zip section. And then in the front zip section, it is just an open pocket. And these come with the one inch strap. I don't know why they don't come with a wristlet strap because that would make sense to me, but I'm nobody, so. <laughs> but I picked up the coop, two, two coop set from QVC. <laughs> and then the next lug item I picked up, I don't know why I even got it, but I got the Dazzle SE. Now, I say I don't know why I got it because I've told y'all over and over and over that flat bags like this do not work for me. This is like flat as a pancake. I don't know why I got this. But. I was blinded by the silver again. I'm telling you. Something about this metallic silver. Once I actually started looking at it. It, um, it, it sucked me in. So the Dazzle SE. I don't have an original Dazzle. So I don't know what the real difference is or if there's a size difference or anything I couldn't tell you um this one does come with a one and a half inch strap and a wristlet strap so y'all already know what I'm gonna do right that wristlet strap will match my coupe and then my coupe one inch strap matches the dazzle so I can swap those out and use what I want um this little bag is interesting. I think it would be more like a little party type bag for me to be honest with you. Because it is so thin that it's not going to hold a ton. I don't think. I could be surprised and it may hold more than I think. But So you have two zip pockets right here on the front. There's no additional organization in those or anything. They are just zip pockets. On the back, there are no pockets. And then up here at the top, you have your little D-rings on each side there. But again, like they've been doing on a lot of their bags lately, you have those little hidden magnetic soft line pockets on each side. So, there's my phone case. I haven't tried this yet, so... Yeah, my phone fits in there perfectly fine. So you have one of those on each side of the main zipper. And then inside the bag. Which I do think that it's smart that they did this if you're a person that can use it and take advantage of it. They put the built-in wallet in this bag. Which I do think is smart because it's so slim that if you can use this built-in wallet and make it work for you, that will save you a lot of room. So you have six card slots, it's RFID, and then you have the big bill slip behind that. And I love that sketch floral lining. On the other side, you have a zip pocket. So I mean, it does look like there's a decent amount of room in here. It's just, it's a completely flat bag. So when you go to fill it up, I mean, just by throwing the little strap back in there and zipping it up, 
you can see how it's already going to start to bulk out. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this, but I bought it because I got obsessed with the silver. <laughs> so I got the Dazzle SE. Okay, now let's get into all the Vera Bradley because there's a lot of it. So the first piece that I picked up was Pre-Loved, and I got this one off of eBay. So this is the Mini Glenna in Cloudvine. Um, I don't remember what I paid for this one, but I didn't get a phenomenal deal on it, but I got a decent one. Um, I really like the Mini Glennas. They are a smaller bag. You're not going to fit everything in the kitchen sink in these, but they are plenty large enough to fit your essentials just fine. So this one was listed as in excellent condition, like new, blah, blah, blah. It was not like new when it got here. It actually was kind of dirty. There were no worn areas or holes or anything like that. It was just dirty. And this is a lighter pattern, so it's easy to get dirty anyway. But I did wash it and I tried to inspect it afterward. Most of the dirt came out, but there is still one little spot. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. But right here, it looks like where somebody just kept grabbing it to maybe zip and unzip. You can see that's a little bit dirty there. But overall, I'm fine with it because, like I said, I did wash it, so I know it's clean now. But the Mini Glennas have the two shorter straps and... You know, you can get those on your shoulder if you absolutely want to, but they're a little short for me. So it comes with the longer adjustable removable crossbody strap. And then on each side of the bag, you have a slip pocket. And these are a good size. They go down and they open up inside. So it goes from here to over here and then kind of slims back up toward the top. So your opening isn't huge. It's big enough to get my hand in with no issue. But it is larger inside there. So you have one on the front. One on the back. And then in your main. Um, main area. You have your zip pocket on the back. And then your two. Slip pockets on the front. But Cloudvine is one of those patterns. That I liked when I saw it. But then after it retired, I slowly started picking up more pieces in it because it's it's beautiful. I love blues anyway, so. So that was my pre-loved piece, my mini Glenna in Cloudvine. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I picked up at the paper store. I got a couple of extra things other than the Vera Bradley, but it was like a couple small little toy type Christmas gifts for my daughter, so I'm not going to show those. But, um, you know. I was like $15 or so from free shipping and I wasn't paying for shipping so I found a way to get it. But all three of these Vera Bradley pieces as far as I am aware are not sold anywhere else or I haven't seen them sold anywhere else. I haven't looked at Dillard's or um, like occasionally yours or anything like that. So they may be available there but they're not available at all on the Vera Bradley website for sure. So, the first one that I picked up is the coin purse in, uh, what's, what's this called? Paisley Jamboree. I like this pattern. I like the colors in this pattern. But, they didn't come out with a lot that I was interested in in it. So, when I saw that the paper store had the coin purse, I grabbed it up. So, this version has the little D-ring off the end right there. Let me get closer and show you. So, it has the little D-ring on the end. And then it zips down the side. And inside, you have one little slip pocket right there. And then right down here, you have a little elastic that they say is for, like, chapstick. I actually tend to cut that little elastic out because I don't use it, but I like to use these as little mini wallets or little mini catch-alls, whatever you want to do with them. But that is the Paisley Jamboree coin purse. This next item I picked up from them is extremely interesting to me because this is the compact organizer in 
oh god, what is this called? This is the reactive pattern for Rose Toile. So this one was Rose Foliage. But this is interesting to me because Rose Foliage is a retail pattern, a reactive retail pattern. But the compact organizer is a factory outlet item. So, yeah. Uh, they, I, I, I don't know. I like the rose foliage. It's not as bright and vibrant as rose tall. And the motif is larger. But I think it's beautiful nonetheless. So, the compact organizer, I'm sure y'all have seen. You have this front section that zips around, and on this one you do get those big chunky reactive zippers, but it opens up and you have two mesh pockets right here, and then the zip pocket on the flap, and that will open completely flat, and then I'm not a huge fan of these big chunky zippers. Are y'all? Let me know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but they don't work the best for me sometimes. And then the main interior is just open. There are no additional pockets in there. But you have a good sized base on here. So it'll hold quite a lot. So that was the Reactive Compact Organizer in Rose Foliage. And then the next thing I picked up from them was the, what is this called? The three piece cosmetic, no, the cosmetic trio in Rose Twall. So again, the retail side used to make this, the cosmetic trio, but then they got rid of it from the retail side and it went to the factory side. So again, this is a retail pattern in a factory item currently. But it's just three pouches. So you have a small, a medium, and the medium is in the interior pattern, which isn't my favorite, but it's fine. And then the large. And these aren't lined. They don't have a plastic lining. I haven't taken them apart yet, so I can't show you. But these don't have a plastic lining or anything like that. They are just pouches. So they're right up my alley. But that was the Cosmetic Trio in Rose Twall. Okay, these next four items are what I picked up from the last online outlet sale. And again, the first one is just a coin purse. This is a coin purse in Peacock Garden. Y'all know this is another pattern that I absolutely loved. And these coin purses are just super handy for all kinds of things. They have a little slip pocket right here on the outside, which sometimes I use, sometimes I don't. And then it's just an open zip top. There's not much to them. They are just a little pouch. But they are so handy for so many different things. So if you haven't tried one yet, I highly recommend. So that's the factory style coin pouch in Peacock Garden. Okay, this next item I picked up is called the Foldable Market Tote in Rain Garden Gray. I'm sure y'all saw these on the online outlet sale. I looked at them over and over and over, so I finally decided to just get one and try it and see if I liked it. So, it's a decent size, and it does have shoulder straps there. My armpit's like right up here, so that's a decent drop. And supposedly, this is supposed to fold into a little pouch with a carabiner so that you can pack it around with you. So when we open it up, the little pouch part is right here. So let me see what I can do with this. Let's see if I can figure out how to uh, make it work. Okay, so on this it's open right here on the end. So, I'm assuming we're just going to grab it all and kind of start shoving it in there, folding it back out on itself. I know that there's a better way to do this. You're supposed to fold it up all pretty and tuck it in there and what have you, but I'm not good at these things.
So yeah, I'm sure it would look a lot prettier and a lot neater if I had actually tried to fold it into a little square and tuck it in there. But it goes in there fine. And it's got the little plastic um, carabiner clip. Holy crap, that's tight. But for you to clip it off of stuff. And then it has just a little hood that kind of comes down over and covers it to keep it tucked in. So it's not very big at all when you shove it all in there. I mean, there's a factory style coin purse next to it. So it does shove into a neat little, I don't know, wad of fabric. <laughs> but that is the foldable market tote in rain garden gray. The next item I picked up again was a, uh, just a bunch more of the market totes. I got, I don't know, six of them, I think, all together. I just grabbed the first stack. Somebody, I cannot remember who it was, but somebody a long time ago gave me the idea to use these as gift bags. And whoever you were, thank you so much, because that was a fantastic idea. So, that was the next one. And then the last piece that I picked up from the online outlet sale is completely new to me, but I was a little intrigued by it, so I decided to give it a go. So this is the, I don't know what this is, because I don't know where the tag is. <laughs> okay, this is the ultralight shoulder bag in cherry blossoms. So... I'm not sure which side's supposed to be the front here. There isn't a little Veer Bradley tag, so I don't know. I don't know which side's supposed to be the front, but you have a little bit of adjustability on here. So at its shortest, that's where it hits me, about like that. And then if we go the longest, roughly it falls a little lower so this is a shoulder bag true through and through and this is a hobo bag so you know it's got a base ish that only looks like it's about I don't know three or so inches but depending on how you feel it and how you fluff it out I mean this could get pretty deep it's got a lot of room inside and it's a traditional two slip two slip pockets there one zip pocket on the back and I thought it said there was a zip pocket yeah okay so there's a little hidden zip pocket right here on the outside that's not a huge opening. It's about that wide. But it goes to about right here. So, I've been getting more into shoulder bags lately. I used to be a crossbody only. But I have getting, getting, I have been getting more into shoulder bags. So, I wanted to give this a try. Y'all know I really like the ultralight material. I think it's a great size. Yeah, I think I'm going to like it. So that's the ultralight shoulder bag in cherry blossoms. Okay, I think the rest of these items came from the retail side. So the first one that I picked up was the mini umbrella in Hope Blooms. I absolutely love these. They're a smaller size than the regular umbrellas. I'm not going to open it up just because why test fate, you know, why, why push karma, <laughs> but they have the automatic button to open and close the actual umbrella part. You still have to push it back in and it has the little sleeve with a bungee wristlet thing on it, but these are great to put in your handbag, your tote, whatever, if it's supposed to be rainy. So I got the mini what is it actually called? The mini travel umbrella in Hope Blooms. The next item I picked up was the travel mug in Prairie Paisley. I got this for my daughter. Um, the way that her school has done their regulations this year because of 
you know, COVID and the flu and all of the stuff that keeps going around, they are no longer allowed to drink from the water fountains, which is fine. I completely understand that. And so if they want a drink during school, they have to bring a cup. These work great for my daughter. I can fill it up with ice water in the mornings and this will keep, I'm not going to say it keeps the ice all day long because by the time she gets home, it is melted, but it keeps it long enough that she can have cold water all day to drink and these don't leak. So they have the little pop tab on them. It just pops open like that and it just has a little drinking hole and when she gets done taking a drink it just clicks back down and she knows it's sealed and so these don't leak in her backpack they don't leak on her desk and they keep her water cold enough that she can drink it so i picked her up another one of those the next item i picked up was another pleated multi-strap shoulder bag. I think that's what this is called. I can't remember with all the multi-strap stuff they've come out with lately. No. Pleated multi-strap satchel. And this was a what is this called? Perennial. I don't know. Perennials gray. So I wasn't sure about this pattern to be 100% honest with y'all. I like grays, I like blues, I like whites. Um, and sometimes when I look at this pattern, it's a little old fashioned -y to me. And sometimes when I look at it, it's more modern. So I have mixed feelings on it, but I do like this bag style. And I'm having real issues because it seems like they're trying to push the multi-strap shoulder bag out the door a little bit, at least in the performance twill which is my preference, my favorite. So yeah, not real happy about it. But this pleated multi-strap satchel, you have a magnetic slip pocket right here on the front. It is a really nice size pocket. You have that on the front and on the back, the exact same size. So that's one thing I do like about this bag better than the multi-strap satchel is that you get the larger back pocket as well. It's not just that cell phone size. Again, you have the two shorter straps right here, which are mainly grab handles or, you know, crook of the arm. Like, you can get them on your shoulder, but it's literally in your armpit. So, that's not a good look. And then, you also get your longer adjustable removable crossbody strap. And the inside is a two-slip, one-zip situation. One zip on the back two slip on the front there and I'm, I like the interior it's okay but it's not my favorite of all time by any means so I like the gray the gray background I like the navy I like the white I do like this pattern I just can't say that it is my favorite of all time but that is the pleated multi-strap satchel in perennials gray. And then I also picked up another one of these um, bag charm for AirPods cases. They had the little carabiner clip on the top. And then they just zip around three sides, open up like a book. And have these little, what's it called? elastic -y pieces. So my earbuds do fit in here. I don't use Apple. I have a Samsung phone. But my earbud case is a little bit larger than an AirPods case. So if yours is a little bit larger, then it should fit as well. But this one is in the Kingbird plaid pattern. Black and white and gray will match everything. So that's why I picked it. The next item I picked up was the Deluxe Travel Organizer. So this was one of their specials. They had it on sale for, I think, $29 or something. And it was a new item, so I wanted to get one and give it a try. Again, this is in that perennials gray color. I actually wanted to get it in the Paisley Jamboree, but I waited too long. 
and it sold out. And then it came back and I waited again and it sold out again. <laughs> so I got it in this one. So right off the bat, one thing I can tell you is that I wish this had double zippers. I don't know why it doesn't. That doesn't make sense to me, but who am I? So you have a little grab handle right here on the top to carry it like a little briefcase or whatever. I like that it has the handle, but it is again just one zipper and I think it should have two. I think you should be able to meet them in the middle here and zip it around, but that's not how they designed it, so that's fine. So it zips around three sides and then it opens up and it'll lay flat. So on the lid part of it, you have the little plastic piece that will cover a bunch of brush holders and the brush holders right here have a little bit of elastic to them so they'll stretch out but this part back here if you can tell is that laminated cotton or what they call laminated cotton so it's the pattern but it has a plasticky feel to it it's not plastic over the fabric it's like they printed the fabric pattern on plastic, if that makes sense. And then on this side, you have a mesh zipper pocket that goes to right here. And then down here in the bottom, you have a piece of mesh that covers the entire thing. And then you can open it up and you have these little compartments. So each compartment is that same laminated cotton. So you can see how it shines with that plastic look. That's because it is kind of plastic coated. It's not plastic coated, it's laminated cotton. You know what I mean. So you have a longer one, a longer one, and then two smaller ones. These are connected at the bottom, so whatever you put in each compartment will not slide around. It will stay in its own section unless it goes over the top because this is not tight against those compartments. When you zip it, I don't know if I'll be able to show you very well, but this mesh has plenty of give and move. So if you do have smaller things in this and you pack it up to travel and it's bouncing around in your luggage, things can easily go over the tops of these little dividers and fall into a different section. Now, if you have larger items in it, I don't think that's going to be as much of a problem. But just so you're aware that that could happen. I'm not sure what I'm going to use mine for. Um, I have tons and tons of makeup bags and different things like that, but I do think this would make a really good item for makeup because of the laminated cotton. You could wipe it out really easily. It's not going to stain. Um, yeah, I think it would be great for makeup, but I don't know that that's necessarily what I'm going to use it for. I may end up using this more for like art supplies to a degree. Art supplies. My A lot of my pens and pencils and things like that. I may use it for that. This would be great to hold pens as well. Maybe gel pens or whatever. I'm not sure. I really, um, if you got one of these and you've found a really good use for it, let me know what you've done with it. Cause I'm not sure a hundred percent how I feel about it yet or what I'm going to use it for. So let me know what you did with yours. If you've got one. So that's the Deluxe Organizer in Perennials Gray. And then the last thing that I got, I actually picked up three of them. And that was the Miller bag, or the Miller travel bag, whatever they call it. I was shocked to see these pop up on the website. Because one, the Miller bag is retired. And two, all of these patterns were retired. So I was, honest to goodness, shocked. To see these show up online. So I picked up Itsy Ditsy. Because who doesn't love this pattern? It's gorgeous. I picked up Winter Palace. And this one is. Um, it has the. I guess those are deer. And the little rabbits. And 
things like that in it. But it's on that black background with these bright reds and blues and yellows. And it's beautiful. And then I also picked up the Corolla Elephants. Because again, those colors are gorgeous. The blues and those kind of greens and teals and pinks with the little gray elephants. It's absolutely stunning. So I'll show you or give you a quick tour on this one. If y'all saw my Vera Bradley Secrets video, you know that I prefer the Miller bag to the Vera tote. It is just my preference. It always has been. So I was really excited to see these come out, especially in some of these patterns. So you, it has shoulder straps, no adjustable longer crossbody straps, shoulder straps only has a great drop on it. On the front, you get a slip pocket with a zip pocket on top of that. On the back, this is a lot of what makes this bag so awesome to me personally, is you have this additional slip pocket on the back that you don't get with the Vera tote. But it has a zipper across the bottom so you can open it up to make it a trolley sleeve for travel if that's what you want. Or you can leave it closed and use it as just an additional slip pocket on the back. And then like a Vera tote, you get pockets all the way around the interior of this bag. So you have six pockets just like a Vera tote. You have one two <laughs> and then three on each side and then along the bottom I don't know why I say along the bottom but the bottom of it has a really really nice base so you can fit an absolute ton in these in all fairness it is a large bag it's larger than what I use daily but if you are a large tote person in general this is a phenomenal sized tote. It is more of an east-west design as opposed to more of a north-south or a square like the Vera tote. So that's my preference to begin with is the east-west design. But you can fit more in this in my opinion and it's easier to get to because everything isn't as deep. You have more width. So I absolutely love these. So, again, I picked up the Miller Travel Bag. Let me see if that's what it's actually called before I lie to y'all. Yeah, Miller Travel Bag in Corolla Elephants. So, again, that was the first one. And there's a good look at that pattern. I can't say that pattern placement was the best for the elephants on this one, but it's totally fine. I'm not, um, I'm not too crazy about it. So that was the Corolla elephants. And then Itsy Ditsy I have shown on my channel over and over and over. And then Winter Palace, which again has the birds and the deer and the little bunnies. Right there is one of the little bunnies. And then I think these are supposed to be deer. Yeah, because he's got his little antlers there. And then there's one of the little birds. It's got a bunch of animals in it. From afar, I just like the way this looks. It's got that dark back black, dark black background, and then those pops of color on it. I, I love it. So, those were my Miller bags. That's it. I think we're finally done with everything. Well, actually, there's still more sitting over here that I haven't shown y'all in this video. I just can't, um, I'll do those in another video. <laughs> So I hope that y'all have enjoyed this. I hope that you found it informative if you were looking for some more information about any of these items. And if nothing else, I just hope you enjoyed it in your own way. If you have any comments, questions, or you just want to say hello, then as always, please leave me a message down in the comments because I love to chat with you guys. 
and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.